I love things that I don't know really what they're good for yet, but I know they're going to change everything. That's the sweet spot, right? You're getting involved in something you know is going to be huge. You don't know exactly what it's going to be. You've got the tiger by the tail, but you know it's going to change the whole world. And this feels a little bit like that. Tim Marsh was fascinating for me. Tidmarsh Farms is the combination of two farms, actually, uh, both of which were built as cranberry farms at the turn of the last century. When I left the Media Lab in 2008, I left to transition the farms uh, into a nature sanctuary. The idea initially is fairly straightforward. It's let's take this farm and let's um, restore it in some way. Let's study what it might have been had we not put a farm here and let's restore it or transform it to some model of what we think it might have been in a way that will make it sustain naturally. We will dig three and a half miles of new stream channel. We will take out all the dams and berms that made the water not flow in a natural way. We don't know where the animals move. We don't know exactly how the water is moving. We don't know exactly how wet the soil is going to be. How can we tell that it's a healthier life, a healthier environment than the one that existed before. How can we measure that? We had a very unique opportunity to use sensors the way Joe Paradiso is thinking about sensors, which are low powered, uh, ubiquitous, so we can put in large numbers of sensors across the landscape. We had the opportunity to use those to help us capture what's really happening. She saw some work that we had done a few years ago, a project called Doppelab. She became particularly interested in the ways in which we were collecting sensor data and kind of visualizing it in this 3D environment. We take this high resolution map of the terrain and we project it into a virtual world that you can, as a user, move around in, hear sound from that world, see the data that's being produced. I want to be able to provide an experience for people that they haven't had before. Connect them to this wonderful, beautiful place in such a way where the laws of physics aren't there. They can float around, they can zoom up and down, they have access to information everywhere. We took the sensor data as a canvas for being creative. So the temperature and the humidity and pressure data were funneled into a music engine one of my students put together. We have an opportunity to build a really new kind of medium which has all these other types of sensor data, some of which we can feel, see, hear, but some of which are very invisible to us, but very meaningful to the future of the landscape. Look at things like soil moisture, tree sap flow, maybe wind sensors, water quality, air quality. We need to have an understanding of how environments react to what people do. We know that. And we have some ideas from what we see from case studies, but now we'll have detailed measurements of how the environment is, is reacting. We can look at this long uh, history, like maybe a 20-year history or a 30-year history, of how this particular piece of land evolved following a restoration. And that's a very important thing to do. Collecting all this data provides us a unique opportunity to um, experiment with and research how the general public can access this information in new ways. The sensor data can be sprinkled all over the network and uh, you know, clumps of data linked to each other. So you can crawl through sensor data the way you know search engines crawl through archive web data. Pose a question to the web like you pose it now in a search engine, but it's going to deal with real-time data that's coming in and uh, you know, you're going to get your answer. This ubiquitous sensing is going to give them a whole new way of, of relating to environments, a whole new way of, of exploring you know, you know, their, their immediate surroundings in the whole world. We don't know what the future technologies will be. None of us know that. But we believe that this project will help us invent that future.